Uh, what's up guys? Today we're going to be just taking a quick look at two different sliders. Um, I have the Immortan 40 inch ball bearing and then I also have the Fomito uh, 32 inch. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you, this is the carbon fiber one. Um, well, let's go ahead and open both of these up. These are how they come to you. This one has a bag. <clears throat> Comes with two legs, which you just screw on onto the sides. Pretty fast and simple. <clears throat> and then the other side, On this little bag. This has some tools and extra parts, as you can see, and a white cloth. <clears throat> and that's that. Let's put this inside and take a look at the Fomito 32 inch carbon fiber. Now, the Fomito comes with a foam mount which is nice, their own little mount and a GoPro mount. So we're gonna take this out. All right, so here's the Fumito. The legs just flip out, which is a lot more nice and convenient. A little bit lighter. It is shorter though, as you can see. And here's the lock mechanism on here versus the mordenance on this side. Let's flip that around. So I'm gonna go and unscrew these. Now these are both great um, sliders. However, just depending on what you're doing, um, they both have their advantages. So. First of all, the Morden has the, the thicker screw versus the Fumito, so one fourth versus a three eighth. So for something like the Morden, my camera is not gonna um, directly go on top of there, so you're gonna need one of these guys. Um, you can just grab one of these, a cheaper one for 30 bucks or so probably. I already have it on my DSLR, so I'm just going to put the plate in here, screw it on, and as you can see, this has the matching screw for here, so let's go ahead and, well before I actually screw it on, just wanted to show you quickly, so this is ball bearing, so it's pretty smooth, we can push it across. Um, versus, yeah, Fumito, a little bit more drag on there, but both of them still pretty nice. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, try it on with it on. There we go. Okay, now as you can see, now you can just kind of use it like this and be smooth and steady with it. And long as you're on a steady surface, it does a really well job. But if you're not and your camera's heavy, it does have a little bit of shake to it. So just kind of lightly grip on both sides or all four sides and make sure it doesn't move side to side and drag it right along. You get some really nice clean shots. So I'm just gonna actually Turn it on and show you. I'll put some test footage in there. Okay, and now I'll go over some of the other advantages of the Morden. So, because of the system, the ball bearing, um, you can put it on the tripod from straight down the middle or on the side so you can put it vertically, put this up and go up and down or do you, you can do semi and lean it up against something or you can again take one of these um, legs off 
and then put it on a tripod as such and just have shots like that. Where with the Fumito, you can do the same. It, has, it does have the screws, all the same screws. However, um, because of the little bit bulkier design, um, I found that with like a heavier camera, it doesn't work as well. Um, but you can still do it. So, but this is just a little bit more sturdy for that. So I would prefer that for vertical shots. Um, so moving to the Fumito now, get this out of the way. So what's cool about this guy is this has, you can do regular straight shots or you can move these in or out and this will twist. So it'll get your subject in the middle. So um, let me go ahead and show you an example. And as we talked, this comes with this. So you can actually just kind of screw this on there and you don't need that extra ball head, but you could get it. Oh, let me take the plate off. All right, so you can see, you can just kind of put it straight on there without anything else, so that's nice. hard to tighten it you should put it on the camera first so anyway this is a little wobbly but just for demonstration purposes so okay now you can see how it goes out to the other side and then bring it to the middle unscrew these guys and you can adjust essentially what's gonna happen So now we're facing inwards right in the middle. So your subject's in the middle and go from side to side. Now one of the things is, this is nice, but like on this side it's starting to get really draggy. And it's because of this middle portion right here, um, kind of because of the mechanism on the bottom. So it's just makes it not as smooth. Sometimes when you exaggerate the tilt all the way, or you can have not as exaggerated, and it'll move a lot less, and it'll be a little bit less draggy. So, um, those are two sliders. Um, go for whichever one works for you. I personally like the Immortan for most of my stuff, but just because of the functionality of this middle bar, that's very, very cool and useful, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. Um, I'll see if I have any test footage that I can put up. Um, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys can make a decision.